Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to talk about the life of me and people with disabilities who travel independently, especially on public transportation. Nowadays, most people with disabilities travel by public transportation, especially myself. It is true. Most people in the world with disabilities are learning how to take public transportation independently by being travel trained. In an article entitled, A Guide to Travel Training, by an organization called Milestones, travel training programs or short-term intensive individualized courses of instruction designed to promote the independent travel of older adults and people with disabilities. Additionally, a government website called Croydon, a government in the United Kingdom defined the meaning of independent travel training. Independent travel is a crucial life skill that helps give young people the freedom to fulfill their potential and life and give young people adults with special educational needs and disabilities the skills and confidence they need to travel independently to schools colleges and community activities the individualized travel training program includes the following one-to-one -one personalized travel trainer support, increased self-confidence and esteem, journey planning, road and personal safety skills, time management, emergency strategies, and stranger awareness. The United Kingdom also has another definition of travel training from an article entitled Travel Training. It said, travel training develops an important skill for life as it helps to give a young person the freedom to fulfill their potential. Traveling independent opens up social, educational, and employment opportunities. Travel training programs help people with disabilities how to take public transportation. This task is often done and supervised by travel trainers. Special needs people could search for travel training program locations in neighborhoods wherever they live. Better yet, people may also be travel trained by their parents or other members of their families to know how to use public transportation for traveling. Either of these two options, if people with disabilities feel sure, brave, comfortable, and confident enough of themselves or from their travel trainers, they could begin to travel by public transportation independently and without any continuing supervision. For example, most people with disabilities can travel independently by public commute to school or any other destination and back home. Other people with disabilities may take longer to acquire these skills or need support to use them effectively. But that does not mean they should avoid learning these skills or drop the idea of having the opportunity to try. Transportation includes riding on buses, subways, commuter railroads, light rail, taxi cabs, ferry boats, and planes, especially when traveling overseas to different continents and countries. It is a higher level to become independent. Unfortunately, while traveling independently in the real world, people with disabilities feel concerned and fearful at times because of all the common negative assumptions by ordinary people. We may feel free and positive going out independently, but at the same time may feel concerned and afraid that anything might happen to us, such as being misinterpreted and misunderstood and being accused of being hypocritical and problematic. Most ordinary people do not know or care that people and I with disabilities would feel skeptical because we know that we are not being deviant or dangerous. It has been our special needs behaviors controlling us. 
Speaking of danger and safety concerns to people with disabilities traveling independently, anybody or most people in the world would find me as special need people as worst targets, praise, and baits of being any of the following dangers and negatives. Disliked and hated, offended, picked on, threatened, insulted, traumatized, ignored, scorned off, both misinterpreted and misunderstood, accused, misjudged, bullied and jerked, mocked, mistreated, unjustified, both discriminated and prejudiced, exploited, excluded, both marginalized and isolated, both ganged and mobbed, enslaved, smothered, peer pressured negatively, underestimated, both non-sympathized and non-empathized, and even deceived. People with disabilities are also deep victims of crimes and rioting. All these could happen to special needs people physically, verbally, socially, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, behaviorally, or even sincerely. Many ordinary people would assume and believe special needs people are nothing but hypocritical, troublesome, or felonious for nothing. For example, most normal people would feel scared and intimidated by any signs or symptoms of people with disabilities for our special need behaviors. Most ordinary people would also assume people with disabilities as deviant and troublesome, making us feel like nothing but discomforting, bothersome, hypocritical, and felonious human beings among other people, especially with their loved ones. They would purposely even want to call the police on us, cause trouble by picking a fight with them, or even physically get hurt or killed for no reason. Most normal human beings do not know, understand, or realize people and I with disabilities or innocent victims of common negative assumptions not planning anything troublesome, felonious, or hypocritical, especially putting people in any positions negatively. For example, when I try to do or say positive things to people, they will want to take it offensively and negatively. Additionally, when I do abnormal behavioral moods and actions such as rocking, behavioral gestures, or talking to myself, I would scare and bother people I would never mean to do. Danger and safety are grave concerns for people and me with disabilities when traveling independently, especially when going to school or work, visiting public parks and beaches, going shopping, going out to eat, and everywhere else. Worse. Certain people with disabilities who are born and raised as blacks, such as me, and all other certain ethnicities are far more the worst vulnerable victims of safety dangers, issues, and concerns. All people and I with disabilities deserve to be safe while traveling independently anywhere, especially when commuting to school, work, or volunteering, any store for shopping, eating in any restaurant, visiting any recreation center, or even any public beach or park. As friends and family members of people with disabilities, we can play vital roles in helping our special need loved ones achieve these goals of being out of harm and danger. Despite the downsides, dangers, and safety concerns of traveling, any teenager and grown-up with disabilities can learn how to travel independently to cope, benefit, and experience the reality of everyday independence. Additionally, despite the downsides, weaknesses, and negatives of traveling, learning how to travel independently is a great way for all people with disabilities to learn, live, and experience becoming independent. Independent traveling helps me and people with disabilities open up opportunities for social life, education, and employment. Thank you for watching this video, especially for those with special need disabilities.